Hello, welcome. This is a smarthelping.com bundle called the Mom and Pop Shop Playbook. What I've done is I've put together all the templates from smarthelping.com that I think are great. It includes just general small business tools, templates, and financial models. So let's go through. Um, in general, you're going to see some categories here. I've built, I've um, added templates for f uh, forecasting financials, tracking things, employee management, budgeting, and some general tools. So I'm going to go through each of those, and this is what this template includes. First, forecasting financials. So for this, I try to just get the most general financial forecasts I could find that I've built. Um, so I've got four here, and again, the details. This PowerPoint will be included in the purchase, and you could go to the details to see um, more on each one of these that are that will be found in the purchase. Uh, when you purchase it, it'll come in a zip folder with all the, all the files in it. So the first one, general brick and mortar retail business. This allows you to scale to 25 locations, and the ground up uh, revenue forecasting is based on essentially three um, product types. You could define their different prices and how your sales volumes are comprised of each uh, one. And then it does a scaling forecast based on you opening up and either developing or buying uh, different retail businesses over time and what those uh, that revenue looks like based on some capacity assumptions as well as what your operating expenses are, cash flow, investment requirements, all that. So that's pretty good for just essentially running any kind of brick and mortar, uh, you know, small business. It's great for uh, financial forecasting. Then we've got the general brick and mortar franchisee. So this is more geared toward if you wanted to um, run a, a business that was um, like a franchise, like some, you know, whatever it might be. And, and there's more logic in here regarding contracts, timing of signing, uh, you know, agreements for the franchise uh, to be part of it. And you can do scale up to 12 locations here. And the revenue forecasting is pretty straightforward and high level like the, the first one here. So what I'm trying to do is give you the forecasting tools that are the most general I've ever done so that it fits as many situations as possible. Uh, I've also done a general retail business with many product categories. So this is one where you can do some granularity. It's got maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe 25 different product categories. And for each one of those categories, you can do pricing of low, mid, high. And there's a bunch of assumptions there. It also has a three statement model integrated into it. So an inventory and all that. So, so that's, um, you know, one more advanced template that you might find useful if you're going to sell a lot of different products or product categories in your small business. Uh, then finally, I did an e-commerce one just because this helps. If you're going to sell online, this is basically going to let you drive revenues by a couple different main sales channels that are based on um, uh, online activities. And that was, you know, you could do, I think I did ad spend, organic traffic, and then partners. And you could do up to, I think I did 10 or 12 uh, product types or product categories that you can sell in it. And um, that one is, is, I thought, very useful for a broad audience. So the template will include those four financial models. And note the total price of all this, um, I think I added up, it was north of $800 if you bought all these templates separately. And I'm going to charge somewhere, I think I came up with uh, $179 was the price. So 179 about five, you know, about um, you're only paying 25% of the total actual value. Uh, next up is inventory. So tracking things. We've got inventory, payables, receivables, and profit and loss tracker. For inventory, I've got a daily inventory sheet, and this has up to, I believe, 40 uh, SKUs. And you could track um, the starting balance, then enter inventory received, as well as inventory sold and it will all do some math to show you the ending inventory balance by SKU for a 365 day period and you can also define the average cost of goods sold and it will do valuation of inventory on any given day and then again you can keep a sheet for each year and you just take the ending balances for the previous year and, and put it to the top of the beginning balance of a new sheet and then you just keep going down 
We've also got inventory cash planning and lead time. So this is based on uh, lead time, safety stock, payment terms, and expected sales. And you can forecast your when you're going to have to buy inventory and how much that's going to cost. So that's very important for any small business that's going to be selling. You know, they keep inventory, they have to sell it. They have uh, lead times that can be dynamic and there can be a lot of complexity in how to figure out when you're going to have to buy inventory. So this is a tool that helps you forecast um, from up to 36 months in the future of when you're going to have to buy inventory. And again, it'll look at historical sales. You could define how those uh, will be different in the future and how that will change over the future 36 months. And then that will drive when and how much inventory you're going to be buying as well as taking into account all these other factors. You've also got inventory reordering tracker. So this is a one that's going to be more of an organizer where you can enter each unique inventory type and there's no limit on that one. And you could do, it'll show you based on expected sales and lead time and safety stock. You can um, see what is likely to need to be reordered um, by priority, um, which the priority is based on uh, the days until you're going to run out. Uh, and so that will run off the inputted data, and there's some cool summaries there, as well as a Google Sheet version. Uh, then finally, this one's been popular in the inventory uh, templates that I've had, which is you can track it from a single or multiple location, or multiple locations. So this is inventory that's going to be moving between different warehouses uh, over time, and uh, it's got an input card with a macro to input into a database, and it's pretty... Uh, straightforward. I've had a lot of uh, a lot of interest in this one, tracking inventory in multiple locations. So that's everything I could think of that'd be good for inventory. Then I've got payables and receivable tracker. If you you can track who owes you money and how much you owe your vendors, and this is a great tool to do that based on invoicing. Uh, it's got two databases: one for payables, one for receivables, and there's a lot of summary sheets in here. This is a the main one for this is in Google Sheets. Um, it's a really it's just a great, there's so much nice, nice uh, logic in here. It also has aging receivables and aging payables to see, you know, what, how late things are, 30, 60, 90. I think I did up to 360 days late. Um, so you can see what's owed and, and how overdue it is and who owes you and how overdue that is. And then when you receive um, payments on invoices, you'd enter payments received on a given invoice ID or when you have a new invoice coming in, you'd enter it and enter all the information for it in the in the database, um, in the Google Sheet, and then automatic summaries will update to, to reflect what's going on. And you can see how much you've paid over time, how much you've received over time. So this one has also been popular and I really think it's useful for anybody that um, just needs a quick tool to track um, payables and receivables. Uh, finally, profit and loss tracker. This is pretty straightforward. Basically, you enter uh, transaction items that will track your revenues, expenses over time based on like a, a kind of a database style input. And this is also in Google Sheets. Okay, employee management. So small businesses, small business is not going to be super complex here, but I did do um, a timesheet where it's got a database and you can enter hours worked by um, employee and by the work type. It also has some things in here with PTO time and it works. I think I the 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 basic database is 9000 rows, so that's pretty big. It should fit most situations and um, it reports you can do by month and show each day of the month. You can also do by year and show the hours worked in each month of the year and you can do this by employee. There's up to eight work types. There's also PTO time, jury duty, and other for other work or other hours that are being added. And then that's all aggregated into a total amount per whatever period being reported, uh, as well as a total per work type category. So uh, there's also, this is printable. If you need to print it, uh, it's built to be printable and it's all in Excel, Microsoft Excel. Employee scheduling, this is for, you know, if you have say, maybe five to 10 employees and you have details about when they're available. You can enter data about um, what their schedule is each week. It'll show you your what your coverage is Monday through Sunday for each, um, I think I did 
15 minute slots or maybe 30 minute slots and it'll show you how many people you have working in each slot it'll also say if there's any conflict in schedule based on the details of availability versus what you've actually scheduled for the week uh, budgeting did a budget versus actual there's a google sheet and an excel version the google sheet is 12 month and it allows you to put in what you expect your sales to be for different revenue streams what you expect your expenses to be and then other items and, and the resulting cash flow and it'll compare that to actuals and give you a budget versus actual report by line item detail as well as in aggregate for 12 months um, then the Excel version is a three-year version. It does basically the same thing, but over three years, and it's in Excel. You've also got a survival cash planner here. This allows you to put in your current cash reserves for, I think, seven or eight uh, sources, and then your expected cash in and out flows each month, and then it will show the depletion of these uh, cash reserves over time or you know if you if you're cash positive it'll go up but the point is to show you essentially how much runway you have or what how long you can last based on your expected um, current cash available and future cash flow so that's cool there's a lot of dynamic logic in that one we've also got some general tools so here a to-do list tracker this is an organizer that lets you track recurring items when they were last done and how many times they were done over time. Uh, you can click on the details to see more. Uh, I did a general three statement financial model. This is just uh, designed to fit any case. You'd input the income statement and then the balance sheet cash flow statement will populate. You've also got some schedules for CapEx, um, exit value, inventory. So this is just, just designed to do just a general three statement model for essentially any kind of business at a super high level. Uh, you've also got Loan Payback Optimizer. This was one where you can put in, in assumptions about your current loans, and it'll show the optimal way to pay them back, how long it's going to take, and also if you have extra money to put down, how that can apply and affect uh, the repayment and how long it's going to take. Um, I did an EBIT evaluation, and I did EBIT because a lot of brick and mortar and, and mom and pop shop or small businesses are driven off, like if you're trying to sell them, Usually uh, EBITDA multiple is going to be the valuation method often used. Uh, so I put that in there. And then also finally a retirement planner uh, where it'll allow you to put in different assumptions about your future income streams, uh, expected rates of return, inflation, and you can see kind of um, how long that'll last you and um, what your cash flow will look like. All right, that's all I got for you on this one. It's the Mom and Shop playbook. For more, check out smarthelping.com, and I will see you guys on the next one.